my guys. What's your question, Robert? Okay. I'm going to show you guys this poor dog in just a second. So, we were driving. And we saw a dead dog in the road. And it had a bright orange collar on. And I told Austin, I was like, turn around so I can at least pull this dog out of the road. So we went to turn around and the driveway we pulled in was this dog. Same bright orange collar, no tags. And I see him and I re immediately realized, oh my God, this dog's gonna end up dying. Like one, we just passed a, he is a puppy. This one is a puppy. I never made it back to the other dog because just too much going on. Like, I'm in the back of the car right now. Maya is up there. Uh, I'm going to show you guys him in just a second. Um, and you guys will understand. So, I immediately, thank God, I had all this bag. Like, I had multiple Ziploc bags of food. Like, two of these, like, packed full. So, and I had an extra leash. And I immediately just started, like... He wanted to come to me. His whole body lowered, his tail tucked. He was like dragging his belt on the ground, like scared, but wanting the people, wanting wanting to meet me. And so, it's okay, it's okay. So I start feeding him, I get the leash on him and another dog showed up. So there was another one farther down and never came closer. And then I heard something in the woods and I looked back and there was this uh, female dog. She was skinny too, but she was nowhere near as bad. She was still skinny. I was thinking, okay, I guess I'm gonna take both of these dogs if I can after making sure, of course, that, you know, they're not dog aggressive. And so I opened the hatchback of the car, like the hatchback here, and I kept Maya in the hatchback and just told her to wait and when the other it was a black female dog when she saw Maya she immediately just barked I don't think for a second it was out of aggression I think it was very fear-based and if I had had a kennel sh sh sh, you're okay you're okay if I had had a kennel I would have had immediately I would have I would have taken her too and then another dog as we went to leave showed up and they're all skinny. Every single one of them had a collar on, sure. But they are all severely emaciated. They're covered in fleas. Anyway, the one that I was ended up like, okay, that I'm, I've got to take this one is the one that like, you guys, like he's dying. Like there's no easy way to put it. He's young. I'm going to say like six months old. Um, looks like a pit bull, pit bull mix. He is covered in scars. He's covered in fleas. Honestly, it looks like he was a bait dog. Like, you know, people fight dogs. And that's honestly kind of what he looks like. He looks like a bait dog. Beware if you guys don't want to see this. Um, he's extremely skinny. He is covered in scars. Ooh, I'm getting really emotional right now. Um, I hated to have to choose who I could grab, but he was the one that, he showed no aggression towards Maya. He came up and he sniffed her nose and they were both just like, he, he wanted to whack his tail and he tried, but he's so scared and he's never known love. Like, when I was sitting there petting him before I got him in the car, he was just closing his eyes like, I, I want this. And so I fed him, I got him treats, I got the leash on him. I tried luring him up into the car. He didn't want to lure up into the car. And so I just very slowly went to pick him up. And of course he's stiff, he's scared. He let me pick him up and put him in the car. I climbed in, I hit the button for the hatchback, hatchback for it to start closing because I knew it was gonna scare him a little bit. And I just kept giving him food. Oh, 
Corinne, thank you so much for that. It will definitely help. I'm gonna bring him to the vet first thing tomorrow. Like, I'm crying. Like, I don't know why, but like this is, nobody deserves. Huh? Something got me to stop right there for a reason. Yeah, cause Austin, he just said something got him to stop right there for a reason. And, cause I told him to turn around cause I wanted to pull the other dog out of the road. And cause I didn't feel like it deserved to just lay there in the road, you know? And I never made it back to get that dog, but I feel like that was the sign. And so Austin, the, the little, like, it looked like an abandoned, like way down the driveway. It looks like a really old abandoned home. And there were just dogs everywhere. And, um, I don't know, he was there and he was he's so sweet he's just so scared like the other dog you know obviously if they're all starving when you have food in your hand they're all want to grab it but every time I pulled my hand up with the kibble in my hand he calmed down and he just sat down like he calmed and sat for me and just like okay I'm gonna wait but like I'm, I'm hungry you know like please and the other dog she was a lot more pushy and again she barked at Maya and if I had a kennel I would have grabbed her and the other it's like a beagle type mixed dog or not beagle but hound type mixed dog that ended up showing up but I just I knew that the very least at least I could save this one and he was the one in the absolute worst condition and I don't give a damn if he has a collar on like the condition of this dog there's no tags of course we'll get him scanned for a microchip he's covered in fleas I'm gonna give him a bath tonight but I'm gonna, I'm about to show it, show him to you guys. And at the very least, at least I saved him. I'm lagging. So um, I'll get him scanned for a microchip. I doubt he's gonna have one. Um, well, we we just got back into, that was in Alabama, wasn't it? We had just crossed over. Yeah, it was just over, cause we were in Mississippi. Shh, you're okay. It was just over the Mississippi line. Like we had just crossed back into Alabama. And y'all, this is breaking my heart because for all I know, he may not, he still may not survive. Okay, so but I'm gonna get him to the vet tomorrow and I'm just gonna do what I can I don't have plans on keeping him, but who knows my big heart, right? Um, I want to get him healthy, maybe get some training started on him and find him a new home. That is my plan. Unless, of course, like I fall in love, which I feel like I am. But I think the biggest thing here is saving his life. I didn't let him eat fast. I fed him. It was out of shh. You're okay. You're okay, bud. The bumps in the car are kind of scary. Huh? It's okay, bumps. He's getting a little uncomfortable from, from all the bumps. I'm gonna take the blanket off of you for a second, okay, buddy? You're okay. All right. Can I zoom out at all? Hi, baby. I know, it's such a scary car. So, this is his face. These are his legs covered in scars like he's obviously been in a lot of fights and this is his body he is so emaciated you can see every single bone in his body all the way down into his tail there's his hips his ribs his shoulders he's so emaciated hi baby yeah 
he let me check. His gums look okay. I offered him water. He didn't want any. His gums do look okay. Let's see. Good boy. So I did offer him water. No, I didn't call the cops. I mean, it was like an abandoned house with a bunch of dogs running around. Good boy. Let's cover you back up. So, he smells really bad. He's really dirty. He's covered in fleas. But, good boy. He is. He's got to be, like, he can't be more than six months old. Like, maybe seven, but I think he's, like, around six months old. And he's just very... It's like he was asking me to save him, but he was terrified to do so. And it breaks my heart because if I would have had a kennel, I would have grabbed the other dogs and put them in the kennel. But I couldn't risk it with Maya. And Maya's being such a good girl, for those wondering. And she wants to say hi. But you guys know Maya's energy. Well, we found him, um, Ala what was it, Alabama State Road or something? And um, right over the Mississippi line. Um, we're heading back to the Birmingham area and there was a dead dog in the road. I told Austin to turn around because I wanted to go back and pull him out of the road. And the road, this little like dirt driveway that had like an old, what looked like an old abandoned house, a couple hundred feet down it. He was just sitting there like waiting for me. And Austin was like, Dominique. And immediately I got out of the car and like his tail tucked, he lowered himself to the ground and I just talked to him and he slowly came up to me. I heard up, I grabbed food and treats and he started taking them out of my hand, but he was so scared. He just, but he let me get him in the car. And if I move, I'm back here because when I tried to get eat, he wanted to follow me. So I'm just sticking back here with him until we get home. So, there is literally blood on his collar. This is the collar that was on him. It's actually a little tight. I don't care. You don't have tags on your dog. Your dog's underweight and emaciated. I guess I stole somebody's dog. So, whatever. Like, at least he'll live now. So, I don't know. It's just, it's breaking my heart. Good boy. Oh boy. So. Huh? Yeah, I had Austin. He didn't them either. And I had him because I had two Ziploc bags of food. And so I had Austin take some of the food to get the black dog that was being a little more reactive, which I believe is out of fear, but I can't risk it not without a kennel. She would have been too much. She was a little older. She would have been too much in the back of the car. And so I did what I could. I wish I could have saved the rest, but there was no like street address or anything. And there was nothing. I, I didn't know what to do at that point. We didn't have signal either. We had no service on our phone because it was a dead zone. So I couldn't have even called 911 to try to get the cops out like and it sucks I've had to wait a minute to even be able to go live because I had to wait until we got service again but just this poor thing well I'm going to definitely be getting I can still get some fingers in here it's not I mean, the only reason it's loose on him at all is because he's so underweight. Um, so, I'm going to get him to the vet tomorrow and get him some flea medicine, get him some shots, all of that, and just start trying to get him healthy, make sure nothing's too wrong with him. I think he'll be okay until tomorrow, but... I wasn't gonna, I couldn't leave him, not knowing that he was one I could save without it risking Maya. 
because that was the big thing. I couldn't risk Maya, not without a crate. I've still got this here just as a divider, but I mean, Maya, I mean, Maya's listening. She does it. She's like, okay, mom. Like, I feel like Maya understands what's going on and I'm just trying to just keep him comfortable because how far of a drive do we still have, do you know? We're still gonna be driving for like, cause we gotta go pick up the baby. And so it's gonna be like two hours before we, it'll be like two hours before, after we get the baby before we get back home. So I guess I'm gonna be back here with him for the next two hours. And I'm gonna get Max's old dog crate from my aunt um, if they're not using it right now. That way, well, it was Maya's old dog crate, but they I sent it with them when they got Max. That way, um, I can just crate him overnight, give him a safe place to just rest and be. If he's chipped, I know the vet I go to, like, even if he is chipped, they won't allow him to go back, but I can guarantee he's not chipped. Like, I can guarantee it. Like, he's got so many sores. Is that a tick? Oh my God, he's got this huge, huge tick on him. Hopefully he doesn't have heartworms. That's gonna be the big, the big thing is hoping that he doesn't have heartworms. And I don't wanna just bring him to a shelter because one, they're all overrun. And two, I just don't feel like he's gonna do good in a shelter environment. I feel like getting him to the vet, getting his shots, getting, you know, some training done on him, getting him healthy and getting him to where he can be a good, you know, pet dog and then rehoming him. And if I rehome him, you know, I would just, it would be for, you know, basically just covering the vet cost, you know, like a small rehoming fee nothing too crazy make sure he goes back to a good home vet references and stuff but right now we're just gonna try to save him um if you guys want to help with him you know i've got to get him to the vet i've got to get him all of you know flea heartworm testing well he's gonna have flea he needs to be flea uh fleed and dewormed all of his shots he will need to be heartworm tested. Hopefully he doesn't have heartworms and we can just start a heartworm treatment or a preventative. Um, I've got food at the house for Maya, but he's gonna need more expensive food to help him put on weight. If you guys want, y'all can cash out, even if it's like a dollar and I will put every single penny towards him and keep it updated if you guys want. I pray he doesn't have heartworms too. And I just hope there's nothing else serious going on, but I'm gonna get him out to our vet tomorrow and we'll just, we'll go from there. Venmo, baby, do you have Venmo? What's your Venmo? Do you know the information? I don't have Venmo, but Austin does. Hang on. Oh, he's breathing. I can feel him. He is. Okay. Um, how about this? Let me... If you guys want to keep an eye on this live at like over the next couple of hours, um, I will update the description. I'll post in the community tab on YouTube and I'll post on my Instagram too. And I'll post my cash app, his Venmo, my PayPal. If you guys want to help with that. Ryan, thank you so much. Ryan, just gave us a hundred dollar super chat we've got a hundred and twenty dollars already to help him thank y'all hopefully he doesn't have part o too but i don't think he's 
I don't think he has parvo. I think he's just very sick. And thank God Maya's up to date on all of her shots. So, um, give me one second. Hang on, guys. Give me one second and let me um, get my... Hang on. I'll tell y'all. Let me double check on my PayPal and my Cash App info. And give me one second. Hang on. Okay. My PayPal... It would be my PayPal email, right? It is. So, would I just have to give them my PayPal email? So, my PayPal email is... Hang on. Let me double check. Um, can one of my mods type this for me? Type PayPal. And then hit a space. And then D-O-M-I-N-I-Q-U-E-N-W-E-E-M-S. Let me double check. At at gmail.com so it should be dominique in my middle initial weems at gmail.com i have water and he didn't want any water i've given him some food i think he just wants to, i feel like he's actually feels safe right now like yes thank you piss and vinegar <laughs> there's my paypal and hang on i'll get my cash app hey so one of my mods can you type in cash app and then do a space money sign d strickland s t r i c k l a n d 96 let me double check yes D Strickland 96 Austin do you know your Venmo stuff right now okay I'll update later on you guys I will update in the description of this video once it's posted with the cash app the PayPal and the Venmo For me? No, 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 no. Yeah, Melissa. Melissa's got it. Melissa Slimmer. Uh, she's got the right cash app. Yes, that's my cash app. Y'all, my hands stink and they're so dirty from him, but it's okay. Thank you guys. You guys are truly, truly, truly incredible. Trooper. I like that name. Trooper. What do y'all think? What do you guys think? He was on the side of the road. He's covered in scars, blood. Um, I think he's a pit mix. He's covered in scars. I'm going to try not to mess with him too much because he's relaxed. Like... I like Trooper. Hey Trooper. Trooper, what you think? I think Trooper, you guys. I think Trooper's it. Because there's no reason for those of you just t tuning on. There is no reason this poor dog should still be alive. No reason at all. Okay, Trooper. Trooper it is. Well, we got to go pick up the baby from my aunt. And then we're going to go home. And it's Sunday. I don't think he has to go tonight. But I'm going to get him in to the vet tomorrow. Oh, it's not just his ribs. So, yeah, we see his ribs. But look at his spine. You can see... I'm trying to get a good angle. You can see every part of his spine all the way down. And his hip bones. Those are his hip bones right here. He is so emaciated. And covered in scars, covered in fleas. 
like. Can I see your foot? Oh, good boy. He's covered in scars. Like, he has been attacked. I kind of low-key feel like he was used as a bait dog. I really do. He doesn't want anything right now, but when we stop again, I'm going to I'm just going to let him rest right now. He's got some food on his tummy. He's resting, and I don't think he's going to drink water in the car moving. He's just finally settled down. That's what Yeah, Kelly. Yes, he's going to get a bath as soon as we get back. But I don't think he's going to take any water right now. Because when I offered it to him, like, they were really living, like, Austin found, like, this little hole area, like, in a ditch that it looks like the dogs were, like, kind of living out of. And it's like somebody just abandoned them. And the road we were on, I would not be surprised if people are just dumping their dogs. Like, there's blood on his collar. That is blood. And that is a flea. And there's a tick. Where was that tick? There's ticks on him too. I'm not. He's just, his ears are covered in scars. Well, um, if we stop at the store, I'm just gonna call my aunt, let her know we'll be a little bit more behind if she wants me to step the house. We, she can but we need to stop at Walmart because I was just going to do Dawn I don't know because I can either run in and grab some flea and tick shampoo from Walmart or I can do Dawn but the flea and tick shampoo might be better I think he's a pit mix like he's definitely he's definitely a pit bull but I think he I don't know if he's full blooded or a mix but I'm going to at least say a pit mix was right under the car. Oh, yep, sure was. Yeah, there's the, there's the big old tick right there. Oh, uh, yes. A flea and tick spray for my car. That's a good idea, too. Thank you. So. Oh, I will I'll have Austin help look me over for ticks. So. I'll get all these blankets and everything washed, but, like, he's, you guys, like, look at this, and I wish, like, Austin's phone was dead, because he said he was trying to video, but his phone was dead, and he didn't realize my phone was still in the car, but if you guys could have seen how scared he was, like, to him right now, like, he was terrified. Like, he wanted to say hi. And it's like he wanted help. And he li he loves people very much. To where he is now, though, like, I just, I couldn't leave him. Piss and vinegar, thank you. Um, we actually have rescued a stray dog before. Ghost, that husky. We rescued him, got him healthy, but he was nowhere near in as bad of a condition at all. Um, oh yeah, you guys, I'll keep you guys updated. Thank you, Melissa. And I was also, I've worked with dogs, so doing that dog training at World of Dogs, I feel like definitely helped me which I've always been really good with animals. I've always been good at being able to read animals, but working as a dog trainer with World of Dogs, it really helped me realizing with these guys. And if any of those dogs, like he was the worst one. The other ones, yeah, they were skinny, but they weren't anywhere near as bad as him. And I couldn't, I knew with him, he was, he's young. He didn't have any sort of reaction towards Maya. Like, they sniffed noses. She was right here. And he was, like, outside of the car because I had the hatchback open. And he was just, he was okay with her. And so, 
the other dogs, I wanted to grab them and bring them and save them too, but the other dogs, they wouldn't have, not without a kennel, and I didn't have a kennel in the car. Yeah, he's definitely, I feel like he definitely knows he's safe now. Like, he's never, when I was petting him, when I finally started petting him, his eyes closed and like he just sat there like oh my gosh like I've never felt love well he's got sores and scabs on his ears too so I don't really want to mess with his ears too much because I feel like they hurt yes his name is trooper you guys this is trooper he definitely knows he's safe. Well, the ears really aren't that big. Let me see if I can get it better. Like towards his face. It's very much pit-like ears. They're just not cropped. My phone's trying to die. They are very much like pit bull kind of ears. They're just not cropped. And he's very skinny, so of course his ears are gonna look bigger than him right now because he's so skinny but I really I think he's definitely a pit mix so Liam's with his dad right now but well some of these sorry He's definitely been in dog fights. His other leg, this is the worst one. These are, so when you're looking at a dog that's been like used as a bait dog or was a, like, he's not a fighting dog, okay? Like he's not aggressive, but when you see dogs that were used as bait dogs, a lot of times you're gonna see the scars like this on the legs. This is a very common sign. I'm not, his other legs tucked and then a lot of, a lot of times they go for the ears. We got a lot of scars on the ears and we got a lot right here on the face. Like these were deep, those were deep wounds at one point. That good boy. Do you want some more? Good, okay. So I think he's got a full enough belly right now. But. my haters are down voting this because you know downvote everything you can it's because I stole somebody's dog right he has a collar on no tags I'm gonna touch your neck okay papa. good boy so I'm trying to find I've got the leash shipped down here but there's there's no tags so this I feel like he was just thrown out and abandoned because that road, I could see the road we were on. It was very isolated. There wasn't much around for like, I'm talking that road that we were on lasted like an hour, middle of nowhere. Like we didn't have cell service at all. And like, I couldn't have called animal control or the cops if I wanted to, because we literally had no cell service. So and all the other dogs that were around that kept started coming up. But thank you, Fire Lord. So Yeah, well, if me stealing somebody's dying dog with three other dogs saw one never came close it just stood really far away watching the black female came close and then this hound mix he came close um as we went to leave but at that point i already, already had trooper in the car and it was just he wasn't in that rough of shape the the hound mix and i wish i could have saved them all but I had to sadly I had to make the judgment of 
if I can take one dog right now, I need to take the worst one if I'm able to. And he was the worst one, and luckily I was able to save him. March flowers. Uh, we were driving home from the casino in Mississippi on this really long, middle of nowhere road. Um, I saw a dead dog in the road, and I told Austin to turn around because I wanted to pull it out of the road. This little like dirt road we went to turn around on. There was like a like hundreds of feet down. It looked like an old abandoned house. And um, this poor dog who is severely emaciated. You can see every spine, like every part of his spine, his hip bones. You can see all of his ribs. Like he's covered in scars. He was sitting there and so I was able to save him. Like literally blood on his collar. I did, Miranda. Can you message it to me, Miranda, if you don't mind? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, hearts is awful. I'd never use anything hearts. Yeah, I'm probably having lag problems because we are still driving and we're not in the, we're still working on getting back into good cell service. Yeah, he's definitely some type of pit mix. Like, that was the first thing I said when I saw him. He's so young. Sorry, guys. It keeps cutting out on my end. Um, here's the tick under the collar. Like, and he's just this poor baby. It's okay. Yeah, good boy. Yeah. Hi. Hi. My awake. Good boy. Am I back on? Let me know when I'm back on, guys. Am I back on yet? Okay, sorry. It's our area. Um, yeah, it's the service. Um, but yeah, we'll get him to the vet. We'll get him taken care of. We'll get all of his shots, get him tested for heartworms, and we'll, we'll I'm going to go through, I'm going to get everything done for him. So, let me know when I'm back. Am I back? Good boy. Okay, I'm back. So, we'll get everything taken care of him with the vet like full on everything will be tested for all the shots will be given any treatment he needs will be done uh we'll get i'm sure it'll be like a prescription dog food to help get weight back on him and while i have him because the plan the hope be to get him healthy and rehome him and find him a good home right that'd be the hope Unless, like, I fall in love and end up having three dogs. Because we already know I've already bought a puppy that's about to be born any day. Um, so, <laughs> we'll, we'll see what happens. But the plan is to find him a home. But while I have him and I'm nursing him back to health, I will work on training. Just some basics. You know, that way, whatever home he goes to. I know you're stressed, huh? That's okay. This is all new. That's okay. I really, really hope that he's not as bad as he looks and that he pulls through. My back hurts from how I'm sitting. Princess, uh, basically driving home, found this poor beaten up, scarred over severely severely emaciated like dying type of emaciated dog there's his hip bones right here you see every single part of his spine every vertebrae you can see his ribs you can see his shoulder blades bleeding 
He is literally infested in fleas. Like they're just crawling all over. Yeah, baby, you need to give me a back massage when we get home because my back's killing me the way I'm sitting. Yeah, I'm hoping he'll be okay. The main thing is just hoping that, like, he doesn't have heartworms and that he's healthy, you know? Like, how is there blood on his collar? Like, just, I can't. Hi, Trooper. Jack a boy. Yeah. Sweetheart. Sweetheart. I don't know whose dog it is. He found him on the side of the road in this like little dirt driveway that led up to like a couple hundred feet down. There was like an old like abandoned house and there was a bunch of other skinny emaciated dogs. So I took him. Hi, baby. What were you looking at? You checking things out? Oh, good boy. Yeah, is that a good boy? Hello. I know this is stressful. That's okay. No, there was no tag on the collar. Yeah, there was. There's no tag on the collar. This is the collar that was on him, but there's no tag. Like, he's not fixed. Like, look at this. Look how just skinny. Now that he's standing up. Maya, wait. Of course, I've got this leash on him. Just to, we got Maya up there. She's been a good girl. But you can really see how bad he is. Sorry guys, frozen. Um, did you guys get a good look at him when he was standing? Miss some water? Um, okay. Yeah, like, his legs, it's just... Jack a boy! Okay. He's letting me lift his paws and everything, like. He's looking out the front window. He's not even paying any attention to Maya. Good boy. He's gotta be like, yeah, it's so bad. He's gotta be like, no, oh, that's baby formula. That's not for you. It's black? Okay, can y'all see now? Aw, oh, thank you. So we a little stressed, but that's okay, that's to be expected, I know. It's still black, hang on. All right, what about now? It's still black? Can y'all see anything? Hang on. All right, what about now? I'm deaf. All right, what about now? Oh, this is so dumb. Okay, what about now? See, now he's getting curious and wanting to walk around and smell everything. That's a diaper. 
Oh, you want another treat, huh? Come on. Maya waits. So, yeah. So, if you call this stealing somebody's dog, I wonder why. Oh my god. I I mean, I've tried. Okay. You guys exit out and come right back and see if that helps if this didn't cuz I Huh? All right, let's go to Yeah, there were actually three other dogs but one never came anywhere near close. A black female did, but she was a little reactive towards Maya, and I don't have a kennel. If I had had a kennel in the car, I would have grabbed her. And then there was a hound dog, hound mixed looking dog that showed up as we, like after I'd already gotten him in the car and like closed the hatchback and we went to back out. But I didn't have a way to, I could only get one. He wasn't that bad. I mean, yeah, they were still skinny, but they weren't as bad as Trooper here is. All right, hang on. I'm going to start a new live, okay? Well, actually, my phone's dying. I got to get my phone on charge. I will update you guys later on when we get home, okay? But he's safe. He's good. And I love y'all, and thank y'all so much for all the help. I will update everything with like all the cash app and paypal and venmo information since you guys are wanting to help out with trooper here and um we'll go from there so all right guys we'll update you guys later on bye